Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette and in today's video I want to cover the fastest ways to make sure that your scars will heal up fast plus what I use to help my scar heal up the quickest. So I suffered a accident at work about six months ago, uh, roughly around this time, and it was right under my right eye. So you have to look really closely now, I think, because I wear you know, a pretty good amount of makeup, but it's just under my eye, so it reached from here down to my nose, um, as I'm sure you saw in the thumbnail. But first, I wanna talk about the things that help me the most, because what's most important whenever you get a scar is for it to flatten as quickly as possible. Like, that is the most important thing you need to worry about. But first, I wanna talk about the don'ts, the absolute no-nos and then I'll go over the do's, plus I'll show you what I used. So these two don'ts I received straight from the doctor, okay? So I'm not making this up. The first one is to absolutely, for no reason, ever pick at your scab. So you have to let it heal, you have to let it close, and then let the skin fall off naturally on its own because the more you mess with it, the more you prolong the repairing process, you'll have you know, much tougher scar tissue. So that is gonna be my number one absolute don't, is don't pick at your scab. The next thing you wanna do, or not do, is stay out of the sun. What happens is that the UV rays will actually fall onto your skin and make the scar darker, and so you wanna avoid that hyperpigmentation. So stay out of the sun at all costs. Keep. Um, a hat on you at all times or in your car, glasses help too. Um, it was really hard because my injury happened in the summer and so I wasn't able to do a lot of the things I like to do like be out at the pool, go for runs. Uh, so that's just the price you have to pay. You have to let this thing, you know, clear up, brighten up as fast as possible. So the do's, this is what you do want to do. You do want to keep your scar moist at all times. So I used a specific gel. The doctor did say if I didn't have anything else, the best natural thing that he could recommend using was aloe vera gel straight from the plant. So you peel the plant, you take out the pulp, uh, blend it up, and you know put it on your face. I've used that before for brightening up other parts of my face. Um, I didn't use it this time for my scar, but I do know that it works, and so that's one alternative. And another thing that was recommended to me is to always use sunscreen. Um, and I typically use makeup with sunscreen in it or a moisturizer with sunscreen in it, but we're talking about like the sports sunscreen, like that's what you want to be using on your scar. So I'm going to show you the product that I use, it's called Scar Guard. And the way I heard about it was from my uh, boss. She actually had plastic surgery, and so this is what she used to help uh, heal the fastest. So this is plastic surgeon recommended. And, ooh, that's shiny. So it comes in this box. It's roughly $50 for the one ounce. Um, I believe there's a, um, one that's half the size, probably half the price too. And I've been using this for six months and I've probably used about half. So it's still good to have all of it because you're gonna keep using this, you know, until it goes away. For the first three months is when they recommend like, don't go out a day without using it. Like you can't skip any days. So what I would do is I would put this on in the morning and at night. And it comes like this, it's like a nail polish. And the first thing that I noticed was the odor. Like, it smells really strong. So I was like, what is that smell? So what this has is some sort of antibacterial uh, ingredients in it that make it smell really gross. It literally smells like nail polish. Um, but other than that, it also does contain silicone, which is helpful to keep the scar moist and make, give that extra, like, puffiness, you know? What I would do is, let's say I had a scar right here. So I'll just brush this over like this. That's all you do, you just brush it on. And then it dries like this, like a film. So what I would do is that I would put this on my face, let it dry, and then I would place my makeup over it. So your makeup is not gonna be 
it's not gonna cover it up completely there's still gonna be a little bit of like a translucence behind it but it's better than you know having your scar exposed and just having a plastic film looking thing on it so what I did is I still wore my foundation with like a beauty blender I would just tap it on there put on some setting powder and then it just sort of would blend in I'll have a picture here of uh, what it looked like so this really helped me out I have nothing but good things to say about this the only bad thing is the smell but you just get used to but it I feel like at the six month mark this is like a really good time to take a benchmark for how well this has been working for me so I'll probably do an update if you guys ask me about it later um, but yeah, if you're ready to see what it looks like now, I'm gonna take a wipey and just gonna wipe off some of my concealer. Okay, so this is all of my makeup off right now. But I mean, it's such a big improvement from where I was at before. And so I wanna give this a couple more months if it hasn't gone away, then I'm definitely gonna have to consider laser um, I hope I don't have to go that route, but I mean, I just want to go back to the way it was. So that's going to be another thing is that you're just going to have to learn how to be patient. You know, it's really hard whenever you have a certain way of, you know, wanting things to look, but you know, time will fix it. That's all you can do is just wait, be patient, stay positive focus on other things, not obsess, you know? Yeah, that is crazy. I still can't believe that happened. The day it happened, I was just in absolute shock because as soon as I felt the thing hit me, I went like this, I put my face down and all of my coworkers were standing around and they were just like, <gasps> Jeanette, like Jeanette, Jeanette. They said my name like at least five times and I like didn't get up because the pain was just so intense and I felt my head hurt like right away. So I got up and I went like this, I put my hands down, and then everyone went <gasps> And so I was like, what? What happened? What? Like, obviously I wasn't, you know, smiling. I ran to the restroom, and when I looked at my face, I just saw all the blood coming down and on my hand. It was scary. It was the scariest thing that's happened to me in a while. I was rushed to the, um, like an urgent care clinic. They saw me right away, put some butterfly stitches. They said that if they had actually done, like, stitches that it probably would have made the scarring worse and so they just put on their like little butterfly stitches to at least keep the skin together sort of like a like a little tape you know and so I'm really grateful that they did that because I couldn't even have imagined actual stitches and on top of that I had to get a tetanus shot that day so that hurt um, afterwards like the next few days my arm was sore and yeah it was just insane Hey everyone, it's the next day. I'm in the process of doing my makeup, uh, trying to get ready for work. So I wanted to show you how much the scar has faded now that I have fresh makeup on. I haven't put on anything in here, so I haven't put on my concealer. Um, and as you can see, it's gotten a lot, lot lighter. And it looks like my scar is only concentrated right here where, you know, all of this down here is pretty much faded completely. So I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, review and demo of the Scar Guard. If you have any other questions about things that I, I don't know, may have forgotten to mention, please let me know in the comments. And if you yourself have gone through something like this, please share what it is that you did, you know, that helped you. I'm sure that others are really curious to know as well. Um, and that's all that I have for today. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.